It has been an exciting four years since Samsung began offering foldable phones. The Galaxy Fold was the first to be released in this series, and since then the company has taken foldable on a remarkable journey as it continues to improve its designs. To drive its foldable phone strategy, the organization has segregated its range into the Galaxy Z Fold and Galaxy Z Flip series. These two form factors are now the major support on which it relies to carry out this plan successfully. Samsung's foldable devices have been a hit worldwide, with sales increasing annually thanks to the enhancements they've made to performance, functionality, and durability. The company has truly revolutionized the tech industry with its foldable offerings. These devices have been continuously improving with every new version, they have become more reliable and powerful over time. Samsung's commitment to foldable devices has encouraged other companies to develop their folding smartphones too. Numerous Chinese competitors are taking on Samsung, but at this time, they still lag due to some variables including their lack of presence in the US market. The Google Pixel Fold is one of the few devices that can compete with the Galaxy Z Fold series in the US market. Additionally, Motorola has recently released its version of a Flip Challenger. Although foldable have become increasingly common, their presence isn't as big as one would expect. For instance, you're more likely to encounter a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra than the latest versions of the Galaxy Z Fold or Galaxy Z Flip. The cost factor is not the sole reason why foldable devices are not as popular as Samsung hoped. Even their cheapest, Galaxy Z Flip 4 is more expensive compared to the Galaxy S23 Ultra. These gadgets are simply not as appealing to customers. Despite the hype surrounding foldable phones, many people seem uninterested in them. This could be due to a natural reluctance to change or a lack of understanding of why folding phones even exist. Whatever the case may be, it is clear that more needs to be done for customers to take an interest in this technology. People have grown accustomed to their traditional flagship phones, so spending more than $1,000 for a Galaxy S device is usually the go-to choice over a foldable phone. People may not see the value of foldable phones enough to take the risk of trying one out. That implies that the advantages of this modern device need to be better communicated and understood. To get customers to abandon something they've been used to for over 10 years, an option for something new requires a very convincing reason. People may be reluctant to switch to a new device, as it requires time and effort for them to get familiar with its characteristics. This could mean that any potential benefits are not worth the hassle of having to learn a different system. If Samsung wants its foldable phones to win over more customers, it must fix the fundamental flaws in its devices. It is not a hidden fact that their camera technology is lagging behind competitors. If you are looking for the most advanced camera technology, you should consider the Galaxy's Ultra models. Customers who are after top-notch photography capabilities will likely lean toward these devices over the Galaxy Z Fold or Galaxy Z Flip. Strangely, Samsung hasn't done anything to fix the foldable device's issues and attract more customers. Fixing this could be a great way to bring in more people and increase sales. With more contenders entering the foldable phone market, Samsung must strive for something greater to ensure they don't lose their advantage. Their objective should be to convince customers that a Galaxy device is better than its competitors and make sure their early win is not wasted. Samsung can choose to emphasize the different aspects of its foldable series, instead of just emphasizing its newness. They can highlight the various benefits it brings to users and businesses. The Galaxy Z Fold and Galaxy Z Flip series have generated significant interest and could continue to grow for several years. This growth may plateau once early adopters and tech enthusiasts have embraced the new technology. Taking the necessary steps now is essential for sustained growth in the long term. If you have any question, do well to leave it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for more Galaxy news. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. See you tomorrow. Peace out.